Okay, so in this video, I thought we'd go ahead and take a look on one of my guitars that's uh, been hiding in its case for at least a couple of years. I think probably two and a half years, probably. Uh, I haven't been playing this guitar for two and a half years actually, since it's been uh, closed up in its case. Um, there's no particular reason for that. The only reason is that I got too many guitars and, uh, you know, I got to try to play all of them, you know, once in a while. However, this is absolutely a great guitar. I mean, it's a, uh, it's a fantastic guitar and I did some minor upgrades to it, I think. Some people say I did some downgrades, but in my opinion, I did some upgrades. So um, this guitar is, uh, to me, it's a little bit unique um, and to a lot of other people as well because the model itself is not in particular, not very, you know, unique, but uh, I think the combinations on the guitar is quite unique. So let's just go ahead and stop talking and just change some camera angles and see what we got here. So this looks promising. Gibson USA. Looks like this is uh, um, actually uh, the Canadian case. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oops. What do we have here? Oh yeah. We got my Gibson Les Paul standard. Uh, this one was made back in 2012 and I got it 2012 as well. So this is, uh, you know, this guitar is, um, it's uh, the upgrades, in my opinion, I did change the pickups for something a little bit hotter than the burst buckers. Uh, even though I like the burst buckers, of course, but uh, the EMGs has some characteristics to it that I like more than I like the burst buckers. So, also, uh, something that is uh, I like very much with this guitar is we got some Tone Pros uh, bridge and tailpiece right there. And uh, during this era, I don't believe there was very much models that actually has the Tone Pros stock from the factory. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Also, the burst buckers that was in here had uh, two uh, push-pull buttons uh, on it. So that's kind of cool. Uh, however, something else that is uh, cool, I think, is that this is actually a compound radius uh, fretboard which means it's uh, starting with about 10 inch radius right there and it's ending up with a 16 inch radius right there i believe so uh, it's been some years since i measured the radius but if i remember remember correctly i think that's what it is and that is actually you know, this was the very first uh, Gibson uh, that I got with uh, radius, a uh, compound radius fretboard. Uh, I actually played a couple of them before, but uh, this is uh, the first one that I actually got for myself. And uh, I must say that I like that very much because it make, makes it a little bit easier for bending the strings on the uh lower frets right here and you know that's a cool thing i believe and uh also when i got this guitar i had some fret bus issues uh luckily i got rid of those uh with some simple i did some you know uh fret leveling these frets uh compound radius you cannot really just go ahead and make a normal uh, fret leveling because you need to make it in stages like this because the radius is different uh, the fretboard is different as radiuses however we got a cream binding all around the body right here we got a three-way toggle switch we got two volumes two tones also i changed the uh, the knobs to speed knobs uh what was here before was this traditional uh, 
well, you know, not these uh, speed knobs, so I changed these. Um, also, uh, well, that's pretty much what 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 I did to it, and uh, you can see here that is um, it got the tra traditional crossroad cover right there. And also, this guitar has locking tuners, uh, which is a very cool thing, because uh, that's also the f this is also the first gu uh, Gibson that I got with locking tuners. So that's a very cool thing, actually. These are growers, and uh, we will uh, tar flick the guitar and take a look on them later. But uh, I just want to show you this uh, fantastic-looking headstock right there. Uh, we got the Mother of Paul going on there. We got the traditional uh, Les Paul model silk screen logo right there. And uh, we got a great uh, uh, knot right there, which uh, I had no problem with uh, at all, actually. So I think that's uh, pretty cool. And also, I put on some uh, uh, strap locks on here. Uh, the traditional Schaller strap locks and uh, that's because I don't want to drop the guitar when playing of course so uh, that's a very cool thing actually so yeah I you know I'm very happy with the guitar it works great and uh, sadly it's been some years since I played it uh, but uh, I'm thinking about taking this guitar out of its case in uh, just a couple of days or so and make some riffs with it because it's such a great guitar and this pickup sounds awesome in this particular guitar you know it's a uh, you can't just buy some EMGs and put it in just any guitar and think that it's gonna sound the same because a lot of the tone and sustain and all that kind of shit going on comes from the wood in the guitar so yeah Let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, this uh, inlays looks absolutely fantastic as well. I think, uh, you know, and, and the fret and binding too, it's, uh, you know, it's looking perfect, you know, it's, uh, this is, uh, you know, this is some high quality instruments right here, this particular guitar. So, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not too... Uh, you know, I don't like the cream too much, but uh, on this particular guitar, it's okay. That's what it is. And uh, also got some Mother of Pearl. That is, uh, you know, depending on the light situation, looking a little bit different. So let's go ahead and uh, flick the guitar and see what's on the back. Okay, so this is the back of the guitar and uh, it doesn't have any scratches or anything like that because overall I have not played this guitar too much since it was brand new. I mean of course I'm play I've been playing it but you know just to I didn't play this too much so there's no scratches or anything on the back here. I think there's just a tiny little dent here somewhere. Um uh, and the camera having a hard time focusing on black, so um, it's a little little dent here somewhere, yeah. And uh, it's in fantastic shape, I must say. Um, this has a, a 60s uh, neck profile, which I like the most, and that's pretty much what I have on all my Gibson Les Pauls. Well, on all my Gibsons, I should say. Um, I think I have a Gibson with a Gibson. Yeah, I think I have a Gibson with a 50s neck profile. You know, that's a baseball bat. So, and and also, I don't like fatties. So, yeah, that's why I like the 60s more. And uh, here we have the back of the headstock. Uh, this is, um, you know, this is uh, the very great locking tuners. And I think they're fantastic. This is... Uh, these ones locking up the string just perfect and the tuners themselves is awesome I mean there's no you know there's no hassle there's no uh, you know no dead spots or anything like that it's immediately contact with the uh, gears in here so that's a really good thing and uh, 
you can't really see the serial here because the camera has a hard time to focusing on here um, yeah but uh, yeah it is a 2012 model uh, we got some just some I had some you know there's just some crap right there so yeah that's uh, pretty much what it is it's a uh, it's a great looking guitar and it's um, I'm very happy with it even though I haven't played it for a couple of years I haven't even opened the box for a couple of years so yeah that's pretty much what it is and also these cases this particular case is made in Canada which I believe is the, a better case compared to uh, the other ones that is uh, made uh, in in Asia nowadays um, I think these Canadian cases are the best cases and um, I have a couple of more uh, Gibson Les Pauls with these Canadian cases and I think they're fantastic cases and uh, you can really feel the vanilla uh, vanilla uh, you know you can smell the vanilla actually so that's really really cool okay so there you go guys that's a video of my gibson les paul standard 2012 um this is uh you know the reason with this video is uh not really going over all my guitars it's uh i thought i uh, pick a guitar once in a while and just make a little overview video something like that uh, i know i had most of my guitars on youtube before but uh, some of them is uh, several years since i made a video about or or even made a you know a recording clip or anything like that so i just thought we go ahead and uh, take a look on this particular guitar in this video and uh, maybe there will be more videos like this um so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, if you have any questions or anything you can go ahead and post a comment down below here and uh, yeah that's pretty much what it is guys until next time take care now bye bye then